You made this way more difficult than it had to be. Hi, and welcome back to this segment of How You Should Feel About This. In these segments, we don't talk about fact nor truth, only how you should feel about this. Now, in today's episode, we'll break down what I believe is a huge misunderstanding between Officer Raymond Gutierrez and Army Lieutenant Nazario. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. Two minorities. And please watch, because at the end of this, I'll share with you some bad news, but some good news also on what happened to Officer Gutierrez. Now, before we get into the clip, please do me one small favor and hit that like button and apply pressure to that subscribe button. Run the clips. 6.30 p.m. December 5th, 2020. Lieutenant Karin Nazario, driving in his army fatigues through the small town of Windsor, Virginia, saw flashing lights in his rearview mirror. He wasn't sure why he was being pulled over. According to his lawsuit, he slowed down and put his blinker on, indicating his intention to pull over, but didn't do so for another minute and 40 seconds, which he later explained was in order to find a well-lit area. Driver, roll the window down. Put your hands out the window. Turn the vehicle off, put your hands out the window. Hearing these different commands while sitting in his car with his seatbelt on, Nazario began recording from his own cell phone and put his hands out the window as ordered. Turns out, Officer Daniel Crocker had not seen the temporary license plate taped to the back window of Nazario's brand new Chevrolet Tahoe. And seeing tinted windows and a driver not stopping right away, Crocker decided it was a high-risk traffic stop. But this was never explained to Nazario, who for several minutes continued to ask why he'd been pulled over. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? You have a car now. I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated. Yo, what guess what? I'm a veteran too. I know to obey. Get out of the car. Body camera footage shows Officer Joe Gutierrez, gun drawn, unfastening the Velcro around what may be his taser at this time. What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. The lawsuit says Nazario thought ride the lightning meant he could be killed. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I yeah, you, ask you, you what's be. going on? Get out now. I have not committed any crimes. You're being stopped by traffic violence. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest for, you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for, for a justice. traffic violation. I do not have to get out the vehicle. You haven't even told no, me why I'm being stopped. About two to three minutes in, Officer Crocker tried to open the driver's door. In his report, he wrote, quote, when I attempted to unlock and open the driver's door, the driver assaulted myself by striking my hand away and pulled away from Officer Gutierrez's grip. But in his own body camera footage, Nazario is not seen striking anyone. Crocker's report also says that at this point, Gutierrez, quote, gave several more commands to comply with orders or he would be sprayed with his OC spray. But no such warnings could be heard. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult than it had to be. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to get on the ground now. On. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? You're not cooperating. Get on the ground. The officers handcuffed Nazario, then stood him back up. He told them his dog was in the back seat and was choking from the pepper spray. Medics arrived and the conversation mellowed. Well, what about a two minute traffic stop turned into all this? Nazario explained why he didn't immediately pull over. I was pulling over to a well-lit area for my safety and yours. I have respect for law enforcement. But Gutierrez said that wasn't the problem. The president had the, what the media spewing with the race relations between my and law enforcement, I get it, okay? So like I told you, as far as you not stopping and because you weren't comfortable and you wanted a wellness spot, Lieutenant, that happens to all of us. It happens to be a lot. And it's, it's I would say 80% of the time, not always, 80% of the time, and while the officers couldn't understand why Nazario didn't get out of the car as instructed, I want you to walk. Nazario said he didn't know why he was being stopped. I've never looked out the window and saw a gun so blazing so immediately. 
Gutierrez eventually told Nazario that he had a conversation with the chief of police and was giving him the option to let this all go. There's no need getting this on your record. I don't want your record. However, since I have you, if you want to fight it and argue, I mean, I, I don't mean to disrespect you, okay? I mean, you have that right as a citizen. If that's what you want, we'll charge you. It doesn't change my life one way or the way. Now, let's break down how a very small situation turned into a huge misunderstanding. And put his blinker on, indicating his intention to pull over, but didn't do so for another minute and 40 seconds, which he later explained was in order to find a well-lit area. Now first, I don't get it. Why did he want to get pulled over in the dark? The police, they have lights. Why don't you trust them? Turns out, Officer Daniel Crocker had not seen the temporary license plate taped to the back window of Nazario's brand new Chevrolet Tahoe. He couldn't see him. Yo, what? Well, guess what? I'm a veteran too. I don't know, babe. Get out of the car. You see, there's two veterans there, but unfortunately, one of them is dressed for war. I know, scary. I even think the soldier swung on him. In his report, he wrote, quote, when I attempted to unlock and open the driver's door, the driver assaulted myself by striking my hand away and pulled away from Officer Gutierrez's grip. He just didn't connect. Now, my favorite part of this clip is when Officer Gutierrez tries to explain to him the misunderstanding. If I don't want to end, what the media is spewing with the race relations between minorities and law enforcement, I get it, okay? So like I told you, as far as you not stopping and because you're uncomfortable and you wanted a wellness spot, Lieutenant, that happens at all times. It happens to me a lot. And it's, it's I would say 80% of the time, not always, 80% of the time, it's a minority. You see, this was unfair. This hardly happens to minorities. So like I told you, as far as you not stopping and because you're uncomfortable and you wanted a wellness spot, Lieutenant, that happens at all times. It happens to be a lot. And it's, it's I would say 80% of the time, not always, 80% of the time, it's a minority. Officer Gutierrez, he even tried to help Lieutenant Nazario not get this on his record. There's no need getting this on your record. I don't want your record. However, it's entirely up to you. If you want to fight it and argue, I mean, I, I don't mean disrespectfully, okay? I mean, you have that right as a citizen. He just didn't want to listen. If that's what you want, we'll charge you. It doesn't change my life one way or the way. Unfortunately, Officer Gutierrez, he was fired. And I kind of understand this because it turns out Lieutenant Nazario's dog was pepper spray. He told them his dog was in the back seat and was choking from the pepper spray. Yeah, I know. Whenever something like this happens to a dog, that's not good for anybody. God, please protect that dog. The good news is today, a special prosecutor decided that Officer Gutierrez should not face state charges. And that makes sense, because if I remember correctly, Virginia has never been bad to minorities. I think even during the Civil War, Virginia was in the Union. Now Gutierrez, he already has lost his job, and that's unfortunate. That's one good, hard-working officer that's no longer on the streets to keep us safe, especially us minorities. Now, I don't want to leave without giving a special shout out to one of the greatest YouTubers of all time who motivated me to make these videos, Officer Tatum. Well, anyways, you know how we like to end our videos on how you should feel about this. With that water. I see you here next time on how you should feel about this. Stay safe.